Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sharky Plays Yesterday. As you can tell by the words on your screen, this is uh, from Pendulo Studios, as we can see right here. Uh, I tried recording this yesterday, but the idiot in me um, totally, totally uh, was not recording gameplay. So we're, I only got about 20 minutes and we're going to just start right here. Um, this is a game about homeless people going missing. And there is a suspect uh, in John Yesterday, I think was his name in the description of the game. Uh, there's also, as you can see from this uh, picture here, uh, a satanic element to the game. Probably a lot to do in the actual plot of the game itself. But let's see. Uh, this is going to assault us with an opening cutscene of terrible animation, so just bear with me through it. This game is dedicated to those who live in the street and those who try to improve their situation, like Los Infants de Don Quixote in France. Los Infants de Don Quixote. I don't speak French. Yeah, we have uh, this opening. Which, uh... The game definitely has is going to have satanism in the plot uh, clearly from the looks of this opening scene here but let's just let this play and i'll uh, get to the game So there was that. And I'm pretty sure the symbol that they're drawing here is definitely going to be relevant to the plot, clearly. This uh, stylized Y. One year earlier. The children of Gan Don Quixote headquarters. Another homeless person burned to death. It's the sixth one this year. And the killer? Nothing, Henry. The victims are faceless and nameless, and no one cares. Not the media, the police, or politicians. Some people do care. I care. There's almost nothing we can do from here. Go talk to them. Get their names. Count them. Offer them our help and resources. Convince them they can have a better life. Take a look at this list. In all these places, there are homeless people we still haven't contacted. We have to continue our work, despite the danger. I... I'll do my best. I'll start with the first one, and... Cadway Station? Forget that one. Wait for me here. Want me to go with you? I'd rather you stay in and watch the van. It's too dangerous. It's on the list because... How should I know? No one has gone there since the hall collapsed. And frankly, I doubt there's anyone still living in that hellhole. Do me a favor. Stay out of trouble, okay? And while we look at this scene here, as you guys can tell, um, I've warned you guys, it's terrible animation in terms of the cutscene. Um, and also the vocal and the voiceovers leave a lot to be desired, so... Beware the order of the flesh. Okay, so we are right into this. Uh, this is a classic point and click adventure game. Um, and I have never really played any of these growing up. So you guys are in for a treat uh, here with me. But I know for a fact that I can click on this. It'll tell me that maybe it's the gigantic eye and maybe not. But the truth is you feel like you're being watched maybe because it's the giant eye. You could take one of the tiles from the mosaic, but you don't. Over here, there's a suitcase. There's a suitcase trapped under the rubble that's blocking the stairway. I can go to grab it. No matter how hard you pull on this handle, you can't get the suitcase out from under the rubble. So we'll be able to handle that later. Into the train we go. Your heart skips a beat when you think you found someone, but it's just a mannequin. Whoever lives here has a twisted sense of humor. 
So a few things that we can take here. There's this uh, soda can. You're thirsty and your mouth is dry, but if only the can were full. Right now you drank anything, maybe beer or something, even beer, something you normally detest. So we're going to take the can. Even though the can's empty, who knows? It might come in handy later. And then there's a pipe. An iron handrail, broken. Uh, you'll never exactly, you've never exactly, you've never exactly been famous for your physical prowess, so you pick up the iron bar to protect yourself from any problems that might arise. Or might come up, whatever. I'm gonna be liberal with some of these things. An electrical cable several meters long. Uh, when you pick up the cable, an image of Ralph Martinson comes to mind. A student in your university who was found hanging in a restroom a couple of months ago. And when I first read that, that uh, that got me because it was like, well, that's just suddenly out of fucking nowhere. Uh, this door is going to be locked, closed. It can't be opened. There is rubble blocking it on the other side. Now we go over here. This is the part that I played through yesterday before uh, everything sucked because I wasn't recording. Uh, a toy phone. You pick up the toy phone from the box. I got a toy phone. Let's go over here. A bizarre mix of rubble and toys. Could there be children living in the station? And since you're a bit of a nerd, you pick up the battery operated figure of a character from a video game that came out and went almost unnoticed. So we have a figure now. Uh, this is broken. A telephone with no receiver and a broken keyboard. Or a broken keypad. As things stand, calling from this phone is not an option. And no, I can't use the toy receiver I've tried. There's rubble blocking the door. The pieces are too heavy. You'll never you'll never be able to move them. Over here in this thing there is a stuck quarter. There's a coin stuck in the slot. You press the coin or turn button, but the trapped coin doesn't drop. Mm, there's a broken basketball hoop. A basketball hoop somewhat broken. Unlike your friend Cooper, you've never been interested in sports. And then if we head up here, there will be a locked door with bramble around it. Uh, whoever lives here really doesn't want anyone to get through the gate. Although you've never been very interested in your body, you value it enough to not to try to not try to climb over the bramble. Keypad. I assume that it was put there by the people who live here. What are they protecting? It's locked and obviously can't just be pushed open. So from there, that's pretty much all the information that we have in this area at the moment. When I played this, uh, we solved this puzzle in the first episode. It took us pretty much all 20 minutes. I'm going to use the cord over here on the suitcase. You tie one end of the cable to the handle of the suitcase, then wrap the other end around the column and tie it also to the handle of the suitcase. And then we use this for leverage. You insert the bar between the cable and the column and you turn it multiplying your force until the cable finally pulls the suitcase out from underneath the rubble. There we go. Now we have suitcase. You open the suitcase and find several things that might be useful to you. So we get a box cutter, a screwdriver, and electrical tape. Okay, now since you all are caught up to where I ended in the previous episode, let's, I guess, get on with this episode. Uh... Something I did not try uh, previously. So right now we have a broken phone, the rubble, the coin, and a lock. So something I didn't try was using this box cutter on the can. You cut a strip of aluminum from the can, thinking it might come in handy. Okay, cool. Uh, do I use this over here now? This uh, strip of aluminum is too flexible to dislodge the coin trapped in the slot or to get it out. Do I... Tape? Nope. Okay. 
Do I cut off another piece? Can. Yeah, I, I know it's a can. Nope. You don't want to cut this. You don't want to cut this. Do I want to cut this? Batter upper figure. Uh, let's examine this. There's screws on the back, so... You unscrew the cover of the battery compartment on the back of the figure and remove the batteries. Cool. Batteries. Okay, what now? Batteries in... Stop. No, I don't... Stop. Take the... Take the batteries out. And now we take the batteries into toy phone. Nope. Into flashlight. The flashlight already has its own batteries, much larger ones than these. Then let's. What's this? Toy phone. Uh, this can already be seen clearly enough. Okay. Do I into... No, because that's stupid. What's going on over here? A telephone with no receiver and a broken keypad. Uh, I think saying calling from this phone is not an option. Let's use... the This on this. What was that? If you had the phone's receiver, you could attach the electrical tape to attach what's left of the cable to the payphone. Okay. Uh, box cutter to phone. You cut the cable, severing the receiver from the toy phone. Okay. It occurs to you that you could use the receiver from the toy telephone, but right away you see that's a stupid idea. No, it is not. It is not a stupid idea. Because if I do this... Okay. Oh, I had no idea that I can move. Okay. Uh, let's see. This to this. Nope. Hmm. All right. So we're back to square one. Click here to see the hotspots you can interact with. I missed that one. You recall the words of June, the director of Children of Don Quixote. Cadway Station, forget that one. Stay out of trouble, okay? You could take one of the tiles from the mosaic, but you don't. Why do I not? Alright, uh... Let's go back into here. I cannot go any further. Uh, she seems to be weeping, and I'm going to be too if I can't figure out the first area of this goddamn game. You're wearing nowhere near being to wanting to give it a hug and console it. Counsel it. God, what's with the so hard to read uh, in this game for some reason. I take the pipe. The metal bar you use to get the suitcase. For now, you leave the metal bar next to a column. Why would I not take that? All right. Uh, so let's see here. Okay. Hmm. You to here? Nope. All right, you know what? Let's just fucking that up here. All right, uh, there's something I am 
not doing. Although you still don't know how, the can is going to help you open this padlock. Damn right it is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I? No, I cannot. Hmm. Will you fucking give me something, game? Okay, I am missing something here. Toy phone. Screwdriver. Nope. You ask yourself if there are some component if there's some component inside the cell phone that might help you in this situation. The answer is no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. What the hell, man? This actually doesn't give me shit here on this help screen either. Interesting. All right, cool. Well, we will just continue this in the next episode. Uh, this has been episode one of Sharky Plays yesterday. I'm in the exact same situation I was in literally yesterday when I tried to play this game for the first time. Um, I, I have an additional two items or an additional three items. The aluminum, the batteries and the phone, because I didn't do that the first time. So we're a little bit further, but this is exactly where I got stuck last time. But anyway, I will see you all tomorrow for episode two. You guys have a good day.